Hey guys, Justin here with the second video. It's a continuation that the first video we went over all these cards, uh, the, the PSA return cards, and um, just wanted to show kind of a, more cards that I recently purchased and um, uh, thought it was cool to share. Here we go. Here's a Pikachu um, Pokemon. Look pretty nice, nice artwork. I'm definitely interested in more of the Pikachu cards and just collecting some of those because they have really nice artwork compared to the vintage ones that I'm um, pretty used to. 8.5, right? I think that's almost like a nine for PSA. Got the centering, maybe took it off, but uh, this one I, I purchased on uh, eBay and um, look, you know, like a decent deal on it and um, just look cool. So I'm definitely on the lookout for more of these Pokemon Pikachu types right any like promos as well um looking pretty good so just you know maybe i'm keeping it for like artwork or um yeah okay light nine tails it's a gma it's different it's an eight i'm not too familiar with the gma type but uh you know looks pretty good. like a cool card i think i got a decent deal on it um and uh not hollow but it's light nine tails um looks like it's from the 2002 pokemon set um looks pretty cool don't know you know what i'll do with it but um I may keep it or um uh, maybe one day put it out there Next one, Doduo is part of the Evolutions XY 2016 Secret Rare, right? It's, I'm definitely trying to get more of the graded, like the, you know, Flying Pikachu, Surfing Pikachu, and um, I just like the artwork, right? Like kind of cartoonishy and um, just, you know, real interesting. So it's, uh, you know, mid nine, it's real nice condition, as, as, as good as uh, you can get almost. Um, you know, so looking pretty nice. Not sure what was the matter with it, but um, you know, I found it also uh, found a good deal. I think on it too. Next one, Vaporeon. It's a Sun and Moon eight, right? It looks like pretty good. Um, you know, Vaporeon is very popular. Probably is it probably the most popular of the EVs evolutions? All right, um, I think so. Um, looks like you know, nice little hollow to it. Um, so I definitely you know when I f just on browsing and then if I see something that I like or that's interesting, you know, or it's a good deal, I'll, I'll try to get it. Here's a Charmeleon, uh, not first edition or Shadowless, but it's a 10, right? 10s are definitely, of any card, right? It's very valuable. It's just hard to find a good base set, right, too, you know? Uh, you know, most of my base sets are, like, kind of scratched up or corner wear or something. So, like, you know, saw this one on eBay. Not special good deal or anything. Just, like, one of those buy it now ones. And um, trying to negotiate, you know, some something for it uh i just hold, like the whole you know family right charmander charmeleon charizard hopefully you know i'm trying to maybe one day try to get like right all first edition you know maybe a, 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 a min you know nine or ten charmander you know i got this 10 here maybe a 10 first edition one day charizard i don't know it's that's we you know too impossible to get right maybe Try to get some type of Charizard as well too to kind of complete the family there. And you know, put it on front of a display too. Okay, this one actually is you know my card for my kid, and uh that's why I have the first edition too. It is a six, so it's okay, but it is first edition, so you know it'll be interesting, right? Like kind of if you would sell both cards, like which one would go higher right probably the 10 right but it's not not first edition so you know kind of have to research the, the values of them 
But that interesting, hard to the glare, but you can see the color difference. It's just darker with the not first edition versus the uh, first edition one. It's a little like lighter on the lighter side, which is interesting. So I guess I'm just keeping keeping the them right now, the jar Tremelians. This one just picked up. It's a pocket monster. Looks real shiny. Um, got it from someone from Japan, so took a while. I guess what maybe one or two weeks, but probably more, you know, at least two weeks to ship it and get here. Um, looks cool, right? This Clefairy is like kind of doing some like like uh, punch and move, like uh, like that. It's like uh, you know, attack me like that. You know, I'll I'll beat you up. So is this an eight? It's um, real shiny. I'm, you know, real. I, you know, I like the look of it, and um, you know, see what else is out there too. But it's still like a 1997, so you know, even older than our base set ones. And look, it got the more interesting back, right? Got like more statistics rather than just a, a plain back, you know. So uh, if I knew Japanese and. I could understand it, but you know, it looks pretty nice. Ah, nice cards, right? So you kind of just imagine, you know, just put it up to your desk, right? And you know, or artwork, right? Just kind of put it up there, and it's pretty cool. So definitely, you know, a keeper, keeper right now. This one is pretty cool. It's a Zapdos. Pokemon Platinum 2009, Supreme Victors. Got this real nice shine to it. Picked it up in an auction. It was kind of the other day. Uh, it is actually from PWCC. It's one of the first cards I ever got from them. But um, just, you know, won the auction pretty much. Just put the bid in at the last second, right? And won it. Um, it's pretty nice. You know, you know, definitely, you know, they also had the, the Moltres and Articuno, but, you know, I could only probably just pick one at a time or afford one at a time. So, picked it up. Definitely want to keep it right now, not trying to sell it. Um, you know, it's a nine, definitely pretty high, high up there. And uh, I just like, like the look, I like the Zapdos, right? So... Real nice shine to it. Back to definitely like a eclectic con you know collection here, just like all whatever I I like, pretty much. I think this Jolteon is my card from a kid, and it got the nine, which is pretty nice. Nice shine. I think I will definitely try to sell it because I don't you know if I just keep this Jolteon. Not sure. I'm not like too attached to it or anything you know it's looks nice and everything not a first edition but uh you know might go for it to a new home somewhere um so i will consider definitely trying to put you know put it up on the uh on ebay in the next few days and here we got sabrina's alakazam first edition Card nine, so real definitely, uh, you know, that's the combination you want, right? You want first edition nine, right? Or first edition 10, right? Even better, right? So, um, seems like a real nice card. And where did I get this one? I think I just picked up the card from, from someone and, um, you know, got it graded and turned out well. So it's looking pretty pretty nice. Might definitely put it on, you know, put on eBay some at some point in the next couple of days too. Okay, well, we went over all of the graded cards in the first video, and then we went over the kind of the the ones I like or recently purchased. You know, just kind of purchasing straight up PSA cards um, there, and some and then other ones I want to sell. And then here, you know, we are other cards that are gonna be sent to PSA at some point, you know, whenever I get a good grouping of cards. Um, you know, definitely you wanna, you know, kind of, you know, have a group cards that are sent back to you and then maybe sell them. 
you want to have cards that you're looking at on eBay and trying to get sent to you. And then you want, you know, cards, stacking up cards like that are ready to be sent out. So yeah, you're, you're doing the full cycle, right? Uh, pretty much, you know, if you want to keep this, you know, hobby or business type of thing going. Um, and yeah, I'm just learning a lot on, on, along the way, right? Just the whole business side, financials, is it, you know, if you got, if you, if you paid $20 for a card and you grade, you sent it to grade for $50, so that's $70, are you going to sell it for 70 You know, if it comes out like a, you know, a mint 10, then, oh, you're, you're set, right? But what if it comes out like a three, right? So you spent 70 and then you're going to sell it, you know, you only can only sell it for like 40 bucks. So, you know, definitely some losses there and pros and cons and, you know, some so definitely learning a lot along the way, like what's the market value for these cards? And, you know, you look up a card value and you sell it for less and it's just kind of uh, interesting, these um, dynamics. So this card, uh, you know, Bulbasaur is just a base set, right? But I think it's, you know, got decent, uh, just slight, slight wear, edge wear. So at best a nine, maybe eight or something. Um, maybe it's worth to grade, possibly, just, you know, considering it, um, you know, this executor, executor, part of the whole XY, I do like the artwork and trying to get all of them graded, right? Like the, the dual Pikachus. So, um, I just, you know, I like the cartoonish -y, like, um, pretty good slight edge wear. So at best a nine too. So these are already at best nines. Pikachu, right, is pretty nice. I think I picked it up online, too. Um, looking okay there. Um, you know, pretty good, too. So I think this might be part of the, that 25th anniversary thing that's coming out that you can get in the cereal, right, in this little logo here. Right, so I think this is the similar to that card that's gonna come out. So, um, so I just thought it was pretty cool, right? Kind of anything Pikachu, and uh, it's real collectible. Flying Pikachu, right? Something uh, pretty valuable. Um, real nice. Oops, I'm probably not. The, okay, real nice corners and edge. Right, probably if a ten, right? Probably it's going for like a hundred or something. So might be worth it. To grade. And it's just real like looking like nice looking card, right? You can just put it up somewhere too. Another one. Another flying Pikachu. Um has a good potential there. Um so same thing. Okay, here's a Pichu hollow, real nice. I just you know, like Pikachu now and has good potential too, to as well. Maybe slight, slight edge on the lower right corner, but I can uh, try to get it graded. Charmander, nothing special, nothing, just a base set. This interesting line there. I think it's more of the card, like not the card, but this uh, the casing. This little line. But, um, you know, trying to get, they're real popular now, right? Just any of these uh, base set, um, uh, you know, the base family, Squirtle, Charmander, uh, Bulbasaur. Got a Rayquaza here. Um, looking pretty good, right? It's, I think I got this just bought it offline. But I do have one that, you know, I pulled from a pack, right? So that's already being sent. That's already currently being created. So just kind of got picked up another one. And I think it's pretty nice condition. Pikachu, nothing, not like a first edition or shadowless, but it is a base set to one. So it has some potential, right? Little edge on the lower right. But um, potential. 
Tremillion Ditto, right? Same thing. Um, potential, you know, like maybe like a realistic, maybe eight or nines could be some of these. So War Turtle, you know, just kind of wanted the whole, you know, some of these, uh, you know, base set ones to be get graded too. Not too bad, pretty good. So yeah, so that's the video, kind of just, you know, showing what we got at the moment and um, we'll let you know what else is coming up later on. So appreciate it. Thanks.